So let's take a look at some neat things you can actually do with curves. To get started, we're going to go to Layer and make a new adjustment layer with curves. There it is. Okay, so depending on what version of Photoshop you're using, it's going to pop up in a different place. For us, it is over here on the Adjustments panel on the right side. So I'm just going to drag it over here so it's easier to look at. So we got that and a nice picture of Lucy in the pool. And we're going to mess with the color. So as you can see, you can change the red, green, and blue, the RGB levels um, of the photo. And when you do this, uh, it will vary from being RGB to CMYK or lab, depending on what color mode you're using. So you can see here, I'm messing around with it, and we'll go over what I'm doing in a second. Basically what's happening, though, is I'm adjusting where the colors are more prominent and where they're less prominent on the tonal scale. Okay, so let's take a look. So you can see here, there's the red, the green, and the blue. So, what did I do? On the red layer, I adjusted the highlights so the reds would be more prominent where it's lighter, and tone them down in the lower areas of the photo, so the shadows don't have much, as much red in them. For the green, I toned it down um, on the highlights and the lowlights, but the mids stayed strong, whereas the blue is pretty much the same as the red. So we've got strong blues and reds in the highlights, not much in the lowlights. In fact, not much of any color really being too prominent in the shadows. So there are a lot of things you can do here, but you can really get a lot of neat color effects with curves just by messing around with what colors you highlight and which colors you don't.